Fixed value methods, also known as constant value methods, is a technique that can be used to both control and warn a person when the process is not in compliance or an error has been made. Fixed value methods can be used in a variety of different ways. This method should be used when a fixed number of parts or information needs to be entered or attached to a product. It can also be used when a fixed number of operations needs to be done at a workstation. When using the fixed method, a device counts the number of times something is done and signals or releases the product when the value is reached. The basic idea is that if you have a fixed number of steps, operations, or actions that must occur in a process and it needs to be done, it can be counted. When the process does not reach the required number, the process will either trigger a warning and tell the operator what to do, or trigger a control and stop the process altogether. The fixed method can also be used with the number of items. For example, if you were building a piece of furniture that you purchased, your instructions may include a bill of materials. Let's say that one in particular was for screws, and your instructions called for 10 screws, or the exact number needed. Let's say you then put your furniture together, and at the end of the process, one screw was remaining. Because there is a fixed value on the number of screws, you would know that one screw was missing. Fixed value methods often use counters, limit switches, or some other means of tracking the fixed value. Some different ways that a fixed value is performed is counting or measuring the number in advance, using a bill of materials, or establishing an obvious standard. If you have a quantitative number that can be tracked and used to prevent errors, you'll want to look into the fixed value method. Now, let's look at one more method of implementing Polka Yoke. See you in the next lecture.